Welcome to SNN. Today is Tuesday, February 28th, 2012. It is a hawk day, which means star periods 2, 4, and 6. The weather forecast this week calls for, for some sleet today through Thursday. You might be wishing spring would hurry up, but it's still cold outside and the flu season is still with us. In the United States, the flu season usually accounts for 200,000 hospitalizations and 41,000 deaths. Would vitamin C prevent it? Vitamin C is the most popular single vitamin. Besides taking it to treat colds, people pop vitamin C capsules hoping that it, will, it would cure numerous ailments. There is now scientific evidence to support some of that hope. Scientifically controlled studies using vitamin C for colds show that it can reduce the severity of cold sy symptoms. The vitamin may be useful for allergy control too. Vitamin C gives the immune system one of the most important nutrients it needs. Extra vitamin C can often shorten the duration of the cold as well. Excellent food sources of vitamin C are of course oranges and lemons and limes, citrus fruits, but also, veggies are in on the deal, too. Broccoli, bell peppers, parsley, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, kale, and even winter squash are excellent sources of the vitamin. Why all this talk of vitamin C? Two-time Nobel Prize winner Linus Pauling was an early advocate of taking vitamin C to ward off colds, but now scientists are seeing C connections to warding off other conditions. He was born on this day in 1901. It doesn't take a Nobel Prize, though, to know that you should wash your hands regularly regularly. Also, cover your mouth when sneezing and coughing. And stay rested. Then when spring finally does spring, you'll be healthy and ready for action. Speaking of action, there was a lot of math action last Saturday. Math Counts competition was held last weekend. That's right, while we were hanging out. Or sleeping in. One of our Skyridge students was competing. Totally true. You heard it here first. That's right. Saturday, February 25th at Clark College. There are about 50 students from McLowan, Discovery, Jason Lee, Shahela, and Hawkinson Mill Mill Middle Schools. And one from Sky Ridge. Shout out to our very own Jason Lee. Jason got fourth place from individual competition representing Sky Ridge Middle School. He got the medal and he is qualified for the stage competition, which will be held on March 24th at 24th at Microsoft in Edmond, Washington. Awesome job, Jason. Speaking of math, tomorrow morning is Math Lab in room 202. That's Math Lab tomorrow in room 202. You can go in the morning and the afternoon. Today, February 28th, is the first rehearsal for the entire company for the cast of Oklahoma. Everyone needs to be in attendance. Miss Manzo expects to see you right after school. The rehearsal will go until 5 p.m. Registration deadline is March 9th. Practice and game times will be determined once teams are formed. Join something fun with lots of action. Hey, sixth graders, Community Ed is starting a new volleyball league just for you. You can learn basic skills and rules for playing the game of volleyball. Canvas High School volleyball players will also be a part of this great experience. For more information or registration, go to canvascommunityed.org. Another deadline is around the corner. It's doodle for Google. The deadline is March 20th. The theme is simple. If I could travel in time, I'd visit. Create a doodle which represents your choice. Go forward in time. Or back. For more details about what is required for your submission, check out Mrs. Richards in room 123. But you can't win if you don't try. Or visit the website here, doodle for Google, and check it out. That's a four between doodle and Google. Here's a joke you could use if you're babysitting. Okay, what? It's a knock-knock joke. Okay. Knock-knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? I didn't know you yodeled. Okay, so maybe jokes won't save you while you're babysitting, but this class might be the solution. A special activity is this Saturday, which just happens to be March 3rd. It's a preparation class for sitters, for sitters who want to be safe. The Safe Sitters Training Class. If you are between 11 and 15, this is your chance to learn babysitting as a business. Ca child care essentials. Safety for you, the sitter. Injury management. And how to prevent problem behavior. Probably with yodeling. From 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., bring your own sack lunch and water. Only $60 for skills that will last you a lifetime and help you earn some money. You get a certificate to show possible clients as well. Our quote today is sink or swim. Survive or perish. Opportunity is within your reach. You just have to reach out and grab it. Have a great day, Skyridge, and get yourself some citrus. Aren't you glad we told you about vitamin C?
follow the sky code and be safe. Be respectful and be responsible. This has been Nicole and Alyssa. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready? Begin.